and whether egg time like it's the parries and the cloud pops and you know all that mm. sort of stuff. I think next time is definitely like a notorious like icicle in neutral player, you know, um, which I think is a strategy that like is gonna be good for him now. But once people like manage to to get to the level where they're just like consistently parrying icicles, it's like oh okay, you know, like that's something that you can definitely abuse for the character. So I just take the bracket real quick, and they kind of mop the they just mop through crisis, dude. Two goes all around. Damn. Hey, uh, so, hey, as a Wellington, hey, this is what you like to see. Yeah. Oh, they wanted to uh, ban that stage or something? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they wanted to ban it. But yeah, um, so we see Suwanji beat um, Mal. Uh, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Uh, Bossy and IDK. 2-0. Wow. Well. Didn't drop a game. Nah. But anyway, wow, well, nice parry. So immediately off the bat, the yeah. portal gets get destroyed. I mean, it's not a high reward parry, mm. but it's it's something to like discourage the Epsa player. And Swanji's kind of notorious of doing that like right off the go. Yeah, mm. because you know if you hit it, she gets enough time to set up a cloud pop and yep. stuff like that. Nice DI out on the down tilt too, because if you DI in on that one, it's an up air. Wow. And even with that's a great recovery, it's not a great time. Yeah, nice uh, parry on the icicle. Um, that's the sort of thing that we were talking about that like is really gonna start uh, giving egg time uh, trouble when it comes to like seeing these situations. If I think. Uh, Swanji was playing patient and like not trying to go up to shark him. Stay on the ground and parry. You get an even better punish, you know what I mean? Yeah, and... So just kind of bullying egg time. He's like too low percent to die immediately to up till up air right now. Mm. Especially being a heavy. Um, you know, Absa got to work a little bit harder for damage. Um, sort of getting a little comfy with these F-tilts, I think. Uh, he seems to be throwing them out a lot. Oh, just landed the ice right away. Oh, yeah, yeah. nice roll. Yep. A little bit mistimed for egg time there, but uh, really got on Swanji to get out of there. So the side B, like you heard the roar, roar mm. but like just go hard, hit out of it immediately. So that's another way to that Absa can sort of deal with it. Yeah. And Ooh. either way, like this armor immediately gets knocked out. Yeah. Absa hurts, man. Like that forty yeah. percent, like she can get it pretty easily. But like even even Ella's here, one hundred and eighty-three, just chilling. Oh, oh he, missed time. He should have yeah, held on yep. that smash attack way longer than that. Because you saw that uh, Egg Time didn't have an air dodge anymore. Yeah. Because he spent the air dodge immediately and got hit, so. Oh, nice parry. And finally finishes out the first lock for uh, I Egg think Egg Time might have been trying to par uh, edge cancel the parry stun. Because mm. that's something I told him, and that's something he's been trying to incorporate. But the stage is really hard to do that on because the it's a platform. fairly flat stage for the most part. And yeah. stuff like that, like, those sort of side beats you can't get away from. No, with. exactly. Ooh. Down to one, going for the tech chase. I think in Egg Time's favor here, like, um, when Absa is played against uh, people that, like, really don't know how to play her, it's sort of like, it looks like the character's invincible. But uh, against Egg Time, who, of course, has plenty of experience against Swanji, uh, playing him, like, every single Grand Finals in Wellington, uh, you know, he's able to find his ins. And, ooh. Whether it's from, you know, things that maybe Swanji should be doing better or uh, just being able to recognize patterns and find the uh, opportunities opportunities that Atlas has to get in. Um, you know, he's getting in there. He's getting his damage. And a lot of the things we saw were the F-tilts that he, uh, Egg Tank was putting out. So this neutral, the neutralist matchup kind of feels like a lot of, like, baiting on whether the other player is going to extend with any sort of zoning or not. Mm. Like, if... Egg time is looking to put out icicles. Yeah. Swanji is gonna look and wait. Yeah. If or should be looking to wait. Yeah. The the natural counter play. Yeah. And if uh, Swanji is looking to put out a lot of clouds like that mm. to sort of disrupt Edelis from doing a lot of stuff just in neutral, mm. Edelis uh, Egg time has to look and wait. Mm. There's a lot of waiting and baiting happening. So it's yeah. like if the if the first player takes the uh, initiative, the other player can really punish them for that. Totally. But uh, because of that, it be oh, it's exactly like this. Like, parrying the uh, the stun like that. Mm. Like, that's so good. Especially yep. on stages like this. And that's most likely why this was banned. Right. This is wow. definitely good. Oh. So good. Really well timed. Oh, and gets another, gets another one. one. Doesn't really get much from it, but I mean, low percentage. Yeah, it's not... In, like extremely easy to get a lot of stuff off it, and he goes yep. for the down air, which is not the best damage, but it's consistent enough. Mm. That's what the, that's what matters right now. I guess Swanji wanted to pick the stage like this because uh, because of the platforms. Like in theory, 
it's harder for Edelus to set up uh, a bunch of ice on the ground, right? So it like limits his mobility, right? But I think in practice, uh, Egg Time also gains like a lot of advantages uh, as Edelus, like on a stage like this. Yeah, because you see that he he can put the uh, ice on the platforms like that. Mm. It gives him great platform mobility. Yeah. You know, it's it's just like playing a like a, a Luigi in uh, in Project M or or Melee, where like you know he just gets omega uh, distance off of wave dash on platforms. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I know. Okay. I'm a little bit too late on that. Yeah. You have barely just enough time to uh, be able to put uh, like put on the armor there. Yep. So if you roll before the armor, it's not gonna work. Yeah. But either way, like he can still fill the ground with F tilts mm. and up bees if exactly. you really want to try that. So, and he can cover the sides with side B, and you know sometimes the icicle will just come through, and it's really hard for the other player to judge necessarily. Mm. At least it, all, it is hard for me. Yeah. Um, and I think it's probably harder for a lot of people. Oh. So like to judge efficiently when the uh, the thing is coming or not. Mm. Because even though it doesn't really, like, if you try, the si try to parry the side B and it doesn't hit you, it doesn't really matter all that much. Yeah. It's still, you know, like, you get discouraged a little bit in your mind. You're like, is this going to work? Is this not going to work? Totally. As opposed to on something like FD or whatever the FD name is with this game. Yeah. Is, you know, you're like, oh, of course this is going to work. Ooh, you know? it gets monkey punched. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Yeah, Swanji's not gonna fall for that one. It's gonna punish you. But at least Swanji seems to be finding his footing a little bit more here. He's uh, taking a fair amount of percent, but I mean, it's definitely uh, comebackable, to put it simply. Well, I mean, not if you do that, I guess. Yeah, so he went for the up tilt, and he, I think he would have thought he wanted to go for the up air mm. because you know up tilt, up air the game. If you yeah, combo, yeah. Up, um, he could also try up tilt, up air, but that's a different story. Yeah. But he sort of went for that. Then he was like, oh, the up tilt, up air is not gonna do anything. So he just went for like waited, tried to bait an air dodge or something yeah. like that, but he didn't see anything, so he just went for an up air mm. smash and secured the game for him. Interesting that uh, Swanji's decided to go back to the same stage, I think. Maybe he knows something we don't. Well, yeah. well maybe I think uh, we're at the stage in Rivals, at least in New Zealand, um, in the sort of like new era, that people aren't super concentrated on counterpicking stages, right? They're just sort of like, I know what stages I like. You know, of and course. I know I, you know, less thinking about like what is my opponent like. Wow, what the was that down B? Yep, that was a Bowser bomb. Insane. Or what is supposed to be a Bowser bomb, but yeah. you know, a better Bowser bomb. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you sort of see just Edelus being able to. Oh, oh no! Oh, no, he recovers. No, he makes oh no! no! I guess wow. he doesn't. That was insane from Egg Time. He's so like. You can definitely tell that this guy's a DK main in, uh, in Ultimate, you know what I mean? Like, there's, it's just the same aura of how he plays. It's the same way as, like, Jarcino is definitely a Bowser main in Ultimate, playing Edelus, right? Like, that's the transition that you see, and you're like, oh, yeah, I get it. Ooh, the foot! Didn't hit the tech, though. Like, oh. he, like, messed up and some jank stuff happening. Oh, if, if, the, if he can take the stock here, oh, that's really unfortunate for Swanji. That, that was th such a good situation for him, but now it's turned into such a detrimental a one. Uh oh, doesn't quite oh, get. No. Oh, oh. He gets the, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice, no, nice, nice. The wave dash. All right, mix it back on. If, oh, but he's like so light. Oh no, Bass Bomb dies. Damn. I think that was, do you think that was poor DI? Or you think he was just dead? Uh, if it was guaranteed dead, you would see the flash. True. So, to some degree, he could have lived that. Yep. How much of it is proper shift DI and proper drift DI and proper yep. traditional DI? Predictable trajectory DI is anybody's guess. Yeah. Certainly not mine. Totally. 